Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tutorial is a guide to learner here, this is Shripona, I hope all of you are doing good. So you all know that uh, in this channel we have uploaded different videos on two subjects, the first one is education and the second one is economics because I have specialization in both the subjects, okay. So today we are going to discuss one of the most important topic from the portion that is statistical economics and the chapter name is index number and we have already uh, discussed all topics from the chapter so if you have missed my previous session so just go and check my first comment and my description box where uh, my last uh, session link is already provided okay so today we will discuss only uh, the calculation portion of the index number with the help of four methods that is Lespierre method, Passis method, Fisher's method and the Marshall Edwards method okay. Uh, and uh, before going to the main discussion if you like my video so please do one like comment and share and please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful sessions okay. So let's begin the session. Now we will explain the four methods of index number with the help of this problem okay. So here we can see three column okay basic three columns okay. So there are five items A, B, C, D, E and the second column is base year and the third column is current year. Base year is of two types. We, we, we have already told that thick that is the price of the base year and Q0 indicates a quantity of the base year. And now current, uh, going to the third column P1 and Q1. So P1 denotes the price of the current year and Q1 denotes the quantity of the current year. So at first we have to discuss the Laspier method. Okay. Uh, so what is the formula of the Laspier method learner? We have already told summation P1 Q0 because base period is quantity. So that's why Q0 or Q0. So P1 into Q0. Summation P1 uh, Q0 divided by summation P0 into Q0 100. So this is the formula of the Laspier's method. We have already told that thing. So, for the calculation process, uh, we need to calculate the P1 Q0 and P0 Q0 because these two are in this formula. So, P0, so we will create a new column. So, the first column is uh, P1 Q0 and the next column is P0 Q0 okay so what is the value of P1 this is 15 this row and Q0 so 10 into 15 3 into 30 4 into 15 15 into 7 and 2 into 4 uh, so now going to the calculation for the first item so that is 150 90 60 so 15 into 7 that means 105 and the last one that is 30 into 2 that means 60 okay now going to the second column that is p0 into q0 so p0 into q0 so 10 into 10 that means 100 25 into 3 that means 75 20 into 4 that means 85 into 15 so that means 75 again last one is 30 into 2 so that means 60 okay so I think this is clear so now we have to calculate the summation summation value of P1 Q0 and P0 Q0. So the summation value is uh, P1 Q0 that is 465 and for P0 Q0 this is summation P1 Q0 and this is summation P0 Q0 equals to 
okay this is 390 so this is 390 okay now going to the formula so for p, summation p1 q0 that means 465 so 465 divided by 390 into 100 so 0 0 cancel out okay so 4 6 5 0 divided by 3 9 so this is the answer 119.23 so according to the last pairs method the index number is 119.23 i think this is clear now going to the next formula so the next formula is passis formula okay so what is the formula of the passive formula so the passis formula sorry passis method or passis formula whatever so p1 q1 divided by p0 q1 into 100 because the current period is the quantity is the current period in the passage method so we need to calculate the p1 q1 and p0 q1 so p1 q1 and p0 q1 there are two new columns for uh, calculating the passage method so p1 q1 so 15 into 20 that means 300 13 into sorry 13 into 5 that means 150 150 again 18 into 7 that means 1 2 6 and last one is 13 to 4 that means 1 2 0 so what is the value of summation p1 q1 the value is 8 4 6 now going to the another column that is p0 q1 okay so uh, p0 and q1 so 10 into 20 so 10 into 20 means 200 uh, for the second uh, items that is b so 25 into 5 that means 1 2 5 now going to the third one that is again 200 now going to the next one 90 and 120 so what is the value of summation p0 q1 that is equals to 7 3 5 okay so 846 and 735 uh, just putting this value in the formula so 846 divided by 735 into 100 okay now going to the answer so answer is 115.10 approx and this is the answer for uh passes method so i think this is clear so now going to the next formula that is fisher's formula we have already told in the fisher's methods we are using geometric mean in the laspier's index and passes index okay so now come to the formula so uh, what is the value of laspier method so that is 119.23 and the passage methods answer is 115.10 so the fisher's formula that is the geometric mean of laspier's method into passage method okay so the fisher's method okay so 119.23 into sorry 115.10 so that is equals to 117.15 
so this is the answer for using fisher's method i think this is clear now going to the last method of index number that is marshall edgeworth index number so so learner now going to the last calculation for the formula of marshall edgeworth's index number okay so here we can see the formula that is summation p1 into q0 plus q1 divided by summation p0 into q0 plus q1 into 100 because these uses because uh, this formula uses average of both current and base period quantities as weights okay so that's why we are using q0 plus q1 because q0 represents the quantity of the base here and q1 represents the quantity of the current here i think this is clear so now going to the next part so from these uh, from uh, from this formula we can get uh, summation p1 q0 plus summation p1 q1 okay and in the denominator we can write summation p0 q0 plus summation p0 q1 into 100 okay this is clear so we have already calculated the summation p0 uh, sorry the p1 q0 p summation p1 q1 summation p0 q0 summation p0 q1 for the previous uh, methods for the previous methods of index number like last pairs passy etc okay so just putting this value in the equation okay so we have already uh, calculated this value summation p not q not summation p not q1 uh, etc uh, for previous calculation okay so just putting these values in the equation so uh, summation what is the value of summation p1 q0 that is 465 okay that is 465 so 465 plus the value of p1 q1 that is 846 846 divided by 390 plus 735 into 100 okay so 1311 divided by 1125 into 100 and the final answer is 116.53 okay this is the final answer uh, for the Marshall Edgeworth index number. I think this is clear. So learner we are done for the today's session. I hope this session would be a very very useful session to everyone. So if you like my videos so do not forget to like share and comment and please do some support and subscribe my channel for getting more useful session. I will come again with a new topic new session till then stay tuned stay connected with me. Happy learning keep commenting. Thank you.